Aquarians, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's see what is happening. This month of February has how many weeks? It has four weeks. So this is a water month. You're an air sign person, so be aware of that. So let's see what is coming out for you, um, Aquarians, in the month of February. Um, go and listen to the extended reading. It's going to be helping you guys a lot. So we're going to be jumping right in to see what's coming out for you, Aquarians. So in the first week, you have your own energy vibration. So this is good. There's some success. Um, th this is a positive week. This is what, going to be one of your best week for you, Aquarians. Whatever is to inspire is a yes in the first week. Do it in the first week because this is going to bring positive alignment of energies for you, Aquarians. It is good to start a month off with your own energy vibration. I see the energy of the tower is coming up. Whatever situations you were dealing with, the second week is a week to just back away, let go, back away and let go from whatever is happening and transpiring. Just don't get involved in whatever is going on in the second week, you Aquarians. The third week is the energy of the month. You're going, you're, uh, there, there is the situation of a hangman. So um, some of you could be successfully overcoming a situation in the first week. The second week is as if a tower moment came down. And the third week, you're taking a break. You're backing away and let the chips fall. You're backing away and let the chips fall and this is going to be good in the fourth week is your best uh, another good week for you because this is the energy of your sister week this is looking perfectly good for you Aquarians whatever is happening um, it's a yes again go for it so Aquarians go and check out um, the energy vibration for the um month of february because in the month of february the first week is transition so there's an healing for you um the second week um it was um the energy of uh, a new start so something is going to be leaving your life aquarians and then you going to you're going to be having a new start so this is good then we have the energy of uh, you take in um, strength because the third week is the week of hurt and water. So you are balancing out yourself and this is going to be good. The fourth week is uh, the week of uh, fire and, uh, and, and, and hair. So um, you're dealing with some issues. Uh, with people in power and it could be a Gemini or it could be um, issues so, but it's as if you have the tool you don't need any help you have the tool to move forward in your life so this is going to be good luckily it's just four weeks after Valentine's when it comes um, for you guys let's see what is coming out for uh, you see they see I see the energy of the star and your wishes and dream is going to be coming true whatever is happening and transpired the energy of the star is here for you um, guys and uh, um, yes for some of you if you were asking a question a while ago um, it is a yes okay let's see what's coming up for you Aquarian um, the Sun of cups the energy of the sun of cups so uh, some of you could have had a child um that is a pisces cancer scorpion that wasn't feeling well whatever that was on this child and over this child i see you are going to be released okay you're going to be released this child is going to be released or you are going to be released some of you um were dealing with um a pisces cancer or a scorpion person and you see you're going to be released so, in the second week going in the third week i see some of you are um having an issue with taurus virgo or capricorn person i also seen them being released out of your life so whatever is transpiring it could be that this was your kids and their partner and they were living at home with you and then they're going to be moving out in the second week so that could be the situation that is coming up then in the eighth week, I see some of you are waiting for a work situation. 
you're waiting to hear from a work situation it is going to be good okay whatever is transpiring it is going to be good it is going to be a yes for a work situation that has been you have been waiting for the lies and this deception is now over whatever that was transpiring in the life of you Aquarians the the deceptiveness the the the, the things that wasn't true that was going on that um, a Pisces cancer and a scorpion as as created um, is going to be over and they're seeing now the truth of what was going on um, here you have the energy of um, the nine the six six and one seven seven oh sorry i really don't want to put on my glasses is coming up where um deceptiveness lies and deceptiveness that was transpiring some lies and deceptiveness that was transpiring and i see that you're finally seeing something about a gemini some of you it is um a Gemini some of you are a Virgos okay so a Gemini of light and deceive whatever the hardship you were in um, you Aquarians this hardship is going to be over you're getting out of this hardship in the month of February so wow so your outcomes is the outcomes of um, ending end of your hardship ends of lies and deception and from your hardship okay so that is going to be the energy vibration of um, your month and end of hardship the lies and the deceptiveness so let's move in um, this reading and check out what exactly is transpiring so there are issues and situation in the first week the first week you some of you um you could have a child that is um a pisces or cancer and this child is not feeling well i see lies and deceptiveness is coming out but the the, the balance is going to be there is going to be an elit and a balance the second week i see the end of uh, our relationship or the end of the lies and deception with a pisces cancer or a scorpion or with a taurus virgo or capricorn okay so um you want a sign or seen this end in the deceptiveness then as we look at the third week i see lies and deceptiveness and it's going to be happening to you guys with a taurus virgo or capricorn on the work floor okay so a lot of you are having issues with the young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, in this um, month. Then as we go to the end of the month, which is the last week, it's going to be a good week, especially with work and business um, for you, um, Aquarian, and whatever hardship you have, it's going to be resolved. So let's check in and see what is coming in. Where is this Elin? I see you, Aquarian, a situation as now ending, and you are getting out of town. Okay, so a situation as now ended, and you are getting out of town. Okay, so it could be the end of a relationship with a Pisces, with um, a, um, a marriage, end of a relationship, end of a marriage is coming up. Okay. And I see some of you are going to be receiving new love coming in. So the end of a relationship and the end of a marriage, I see new love is going to be coming in. Then I'm seeing in the second week, a judgment call. A judgment call is coming up on um, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So I see a judgment call is coming up on these people, okay? then i see some regrets regrets dealing um with a cancer you're seeing the truth about this cancer you really have regrets dealing with a cancer because the truth is coming out about this cancer okay the truth is coming out about this cancer wow so some of you are going to be seeing um the lies and the deceptiveness of a Aries Leo Sagittarian 
um, what she has done to a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. They're going to be finding out the lies and deceptiveness of a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn that this lady has created lies and deception on these people. Deceptive. The truth is going to be coming out over a deceptive situation on the work floor that has to do with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, okay? So they are going to be finding out some deceptive situation on the work floor that has to do with the Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Then we are seeing that you and your partner or you and your husband is definitely going to be coming out of a hardship. So some of you, your part, you and your partner or you and your husband was definitely um, dealing with some hardship. I see a new start is going to be coming up for a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion out there. And this could be a child. So some of you could have had issues with your child. It could be health issues. It could be other issues. I see a new start coming up for this child. I see money is going to be coming in. And with this money that is coming in, you are going to be bringing some balance in your world. So money is going to be coming in. Um, it is a month of um, love and money for you guys. However, this is playing out. It is really um, a month of love and money for you guys. So whatever the issue and the situation um, that was transpiring, it's really about love and money, okay? It's really about love and money. So a tower moment is going to be coming down for a cancer. Um, a tower moment is definitely coming down for a cancer. Whatever this cancer has done, um, a tower moment is coming down on this cancer for what they have done. Then I see manifesting your materialistic stability because the empress is going to be here really helping you to manifest your empress is going to give you all the tools you need to manifest whatever it is that you want to manifest in your life so this is beautiful so i this is a month where it's going to affect in married people and a twin flame and soulmate but also sibling but it's more of relationship. It's a month um, where your relationship is going to be affected. I see some of you are dealing with a, um, um, a cancer. Whoever this cancer is has done some really deceptive um, situation, okay? So some of you are dealing with a cancer. This cancer has uh, dealt with some... Uh, uh, um, did some deceptive um, situation and I see oh this is coming out so I see some of you between the ages of 18 and 35 whatever the issue and the situation is I see a new start um, for you and your partner okay so there is going to be a new start if your relationship was being affected and your relationship was in a hardship I'm seeing a new start coming up for you and your partner and this is very very good okay then I'm seeing um, in the first week you come to a crossroad and you're going to be having a new start new start is coming up so this is really wonderful for you guys in the first week as we get to the second week a resolution to an issue and a situation is going to be transpiring so it's as if you Aquarians are going to bring resolution for other people or for yourself a tower moment is on some of your employers or employees that has done some deceptiveness it could be also a partner for you and um, this partner could be a cancer I'm seeing this relationship is going to be ending emotions are here very high I see some of you are just keeping away uh, some of you had some issues uh, the end of a relationship with a cancer for some of you or the end of a relationship but I see new love is coming in and a new start is going to be coming in a whole lot of emotions are going on for you guys okay then we have the energy of jealousy a lot of people are jealous of what you have so you know it's best to keep your keep your information to yourself because I see a lot of people are going to be jealous of what you have 
then we have a situation where people are going to be finding out that an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius has stolen someone information. It could be your kids information. It could be your uh, family information. Um, but I see a judgment call coming down on this lady because they realize that this lady has broken your house and stolen um, information. I see some of you are going to be receiving a new start in a new corporation. I see some of you are having um, and seeing the truth of um, um, a cancer in, um, in your company. But this is a huge corporation. And you realize that the cancer has been doing something um, under the table and it's all coming out. So whoever you have some regrets, some of you who works in a huge corporation have some regrets. And however the regrets are coming up is as if you see the truth about this deceptive corporation institute. See? Ladies, you're going to be finding out the truth about um, a Gemini and the truth about another Aquarian lady. So ladies, you're going to be finding out the truth about an Aries Leo Sagittarius woman, the lies and deceptiveness of this woman and what she has done. Okay, the truth is going to be coming out because this woman is very deceiving and how she manipulate things and the lies and deceptiveness of this. Okay. Wow. Aquarians, you gotta be aware. Um, uh, I see an healing is coming in. You gotta be aware of what is transpiring. Okay. Because I see healing is um, coming in for you guys and a resolution to some deceptiveness that has transpired. All right, so in order um, to know what is going to be happening and transpiring, um, you got to um, connect with my website. You have to join. Use the join button to receive the extended of these readings. The extended of these readings are just so powerful, okay? So we are going to be um, um, having two um animal um totem cards all right so we are going to be receiving two animal totem cards and uh, um two life um past life cards and as you choose these cards you will know which cards are going to be affecting you okay so here we go. This is the first card for the animal and this is the second card. Choose one of these cards, okay? If you choose the first cards, you have the Aina. You have the energy of the Aina. This if you choose the first card, you have the energy of the Aina. Now, the energy of the Aina and what is transpiring here with the energy of the Aina, you know it's a fire sign. Okay, so the energy of the Aina is a fire sign. Whatever that is transpiring, I see some of you, especially with a deceptiveness, with an Aries Lee or Sagittarius, you are going to be standing up against this person. But this person could be carrying the energy of the Aina. This be aware, whoever is dealing with deceptive people, an Aries Lee or Sagittarius, they are like Aina's. So be aware and protect yourself okay they're unseen they're the night of the deceptiveness and very much unseen and i see um this old lady and um a pisces cancer and a scorpion young person is using the energy of the aina um if you choose card two is the energy of the lamb this is good especially for business i see um just um be cool be as the lamb and you are going to be receiving more than you have ever ever hoped for okay so just as be as meek as the lamb and this is what they said the meek the meek shall inherit the hurt the meek shall inherit the hurt be as meek as a lamb especially for people that work in 
um, huge or work for a huge corporation, be as weak as a lamb, and then you're going to be receiving all that it is that you need to have. Okay, so so so. All right, so let's see what past life you guys are going to be working on. I I just, ladies and gentlemen, I just got the surprise of my life. I, <laughs> But go and check out the extended videos and you will know what was that surprise, okay? Alrighty, let's see what is happening. Um, ooh, your two cards fell out. Your two cards fell out. I'm receiving that some of you might be connecting with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man between the ages of 18 and 45, so be aware all right, there is two past life cards and you need to choose one. This is card one and this is card two. If you have the energy of card one, um, what is happening and transpiring is that you're leaving or traveling. Okay, so some of you, um, the past life that is affecting is that you could be leaving or traveling. However, this is coming up for you. This is what is affecting you in this lifetime that you could be a traveling person or you could be leaving and traveling. The second energy that is here is spouse, spouse. This is your spouse. So some of you could be also getting romantically involved with a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Um, and this is coming up. I see some of you are going to be meeting a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and you're going to be falling in love with this person so whatever the issue and the situation is the energy of the spouse is here i see some of you could be getting um get falling in love uh, some of you could be um falling in love in this month so it's very very beautiful okay ladies and gentlemen i love your month it's going to be beautiful and i am saying namaste until next time Thank you.